Mariana Lacuachera and welcome to my YouTube channel! In this video, uh, I will gonna bring you to one of the prestigious city in Belgium, Mechelen. This place is the Iron Loan. This is used to be the fish market of Mechelen, but nowadays it is no longer visible. The Eastern Lane in the city's boulevard with beautiful old mansions with classical pockets. You will also find nice terraces underwater. All the buildings in the street were renovated after the First World War, so you will also recognize more recent accents over here. This is the Grote Maart, it's a central square at the center of Mechelen. The Centrum Boats Touren dominates the square, you see him from everywhere. On the other side of the square, you will find the city hall. Look at the houses around the Grote Maart from different times and with different styles, including Renaissance from the 16th century and Rococo from the 18th century. In 2000, or the route map was made traffic free and an underground car park was built. During its construction, archaeological finds were made, including an old well and a road from the 13th century. In those days, there were already market stalls along this road. And now there is a lively market here every some Saturday morning. The St. Rumbold's Cathedral was built in the 13th century from the outset it was larger and more impressive than all the other parish churches and later on it became the church of the archbishops. Originally there was a three-pole-made first form church on the side of the vast cathedral. Only after a series of building campaigns did the church become the Cedar's star attraction. In the religious wars in the 16th century, the church took some hard knocks. Much of the old interior was lost to iconoclasms and plundering. Calvinist rule at the end of the century removed all references to Catholic worship, but the church had even more storms to weather. In the Second World War, Mechelen was bombed, and in 1972, a huge fire broke out. St. Rumpold's Cathedral withstood them all.
Kate and Mahler and can fail to notice the three houses near the bridge. This they are, the date from the 16th and 17th centuries, and are what draws people to the hoverwag. The corner house is called the Paradise, the little paradise. The reliefs above the windows depict the scenes early paradise and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. In the middle is the devil chest, the little devils, one of the most beautiful wooden facades in the country. You know that it used to be called David Lorenzon in angles, in English the prodigal son. Because the story is depicted above the front door, now it is named after the little devils, which act as a pillar. On the left is the house known as St. Joseph. In the middle is a relief of St. Joseph with the child Jesus. Originally, oats were unloaded and created here. Oats used to be synonymous with grain and mechelen, had exclusive double rights to grain. Oats carrying grain had to tie up in the mechelen and offered the whole cargo for the sale for three whole days. Only what the merchants did not sell and mechelen could be loaded back into the boat and taken somewhere else. So that's all that's all for this video guys. I hope you like my video. Please give a thumbs up if you like it and see you next time. Bye bye.